Hi guys, this is Kidflash here, and welcome back to Let's Play More Aviary Attorney, where last part we met the bird lawyers, and ah, uh, there's everything so fun again. Um, we took the case, now we're going to be going to either one of two places, Studio de Rubino, here lies the home of whatever, he sounds like he's dead, and um, or Chateau, let's try this, let's sound it out guys. <laughs> it's not that that's the all place to be. Kreiner, who knows. We're going there, though. It has an immaculate garden, apparently. Alright. Um, so, Sparrow and Falconson enter the courtyard outside Chateau Crinaire. I'm just going to call it that every single time. Um, people with dirty clothes and gaunt faces linger around the building shadows. <laughs> Those dirty, gaunt, clothed faces. Um, Sauton? Sauton, I guess. Um, Sautan, maybe? <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> excuse moi messieurs. Um... I don't mean to be a little pain, but my little girl and I are sick and starving. See? Okay. Um. You trying to? You trying to? You trying to swindle me out of money? Well, come on, man. We can't just trust every kangaroo we see. It <laughs> not to be not to be racist or anything, but you never know, man. Um. Just seems sketch. I, I I'm sure that kangaroo that Joey's not sick at all. Um. Spare some change. You have twenty francs in your wallet. What will you do? Oh god. Oh shit, you know, I think if we give money now, like later when we actually need money, they'll be like, shit, I don't have any money. So what do I do? Oh, moral dilemmas, guys. Choice matters. <laughs> um, have a franc. Be generous. Stay safe, madame. Okay, thanks to you, monsieur. <laughs> Does she really have like a French down under accent? Is that like what they're going for? I hope. That was pretty generous of you. I could have gained more, man. Times are tough. Making sure a mother and child have something to eat is the least I can do. Um, but what am I standing here moralizing? Is this going to put us on the law route? I think there are three endings. It'd be hilarious if they'd just go, like, flat out SMT on us. Because I do know, like, the plot of this game is about, like, the French Revolution. <laughs> so that would be, like, straight out of, like, you could get SMT with that. Um, but what am I doing standing here moralizing? Come on, Sparrowson. We got business to attend to. Aight, aight. Um, the pristine wood-paneled foyer, <laughs> foyer of, um, Chateau Crinaire. Kind of cat, kind of, who knows? I'm sure there's a cat pun deep within there that if I, if I just look hard enough. Um, well, look at this place. Baron Regal must be loaded. More than loaded. When it comes to lucrative investments, the Baron is a legend. Factories, chocolate shops, hotels, railroads. The Baron owns a little bit of everything this side of... Sign? Sign? Who knows? Is he here right now? Yes, he's the smug looking chap with the impressive mane. Is he a lion? Um, but we must approach a man of his stature with tact and finesse. Alright, let's see how he does this. <laughs> a baron would like a word. I like you, Sparrison. I like you a lot. Um, how's that? <laughs> Sparrison, you have the finesse. <laughs> you have the finesse of an inebriated warthog. Okay, you can thank me later. I think I got his attention. Oh, he's a lion. Did I hear my name? Oh, if only I had the, uh, the posh, the posh accent down like my friend does. <laughs> Great Baron Rogile, property owner extraordinaire, at your service. Um, and who might you fellows be? More investigators? Yep, we're policemen. No, we're attorneys, guy. We're aviary attorneys. Title drop. I am Private Attorney JJ. <laughs> Private Attorney JJ Falcon, and this is my associate Sparrowson. Lawyers, uh, I'm not gonna. Lawyers, eh? <laughs> you know, you aren't the first to have passed through here today. Oh, really? Was it who could it be? Yes, yes. This jumpy, twitchy fellow came by me this morning. Who could that be? Ask a bunch of questions, then hopped away. Oh, you know, it's probably the um, the uh, the rabbit prosecutor, <laughs> who I also love. Um, then hopped away before he heard the answers. Most curious. Hmm. Do you know who he was, Sparrowson? Perhaps. I have a hunch. Sorry. I have a hutch? Is that a bird pun? Who knows, man. Sorry, hunch. We'll be seeing him at the trial. A friend of yours? Something like- Oh, isn't Sparrowson like a prosecutor or something? Who knows? <laughs> who knows, actually. Um. So what may I do for you, Mazurs? Um, we come on behalf of Madame- Mizura Grenry, the frog who was killed here on Friday evening. Of course, of course, such a tragedy. He was a good friend and a loyal business partner. 
Um, I suppose you Missourians will be wanting to see the crime scene for yourself. Yeah, cool. Uh, that's cool. Then be my guest. I, I, <laughs> let's go. Um, you also might be interested in the lounge on the second floor, third door to the right. It's gonna be easy to remember. Second floor, third door. Actually, that is totally easy to remember. Um, what would there be? That would be where they gathered for the group photograph prior to the murder. Gotta, gotta take a puff of the cigar. Unfortunate incident. <laughs> um, can we see the finished photograph? Oh, okay, not, no, I guess not. It is my understanding that a photograph must be developed before it can view, be viewed. It's a slow process. Uh, my own copy of the photograph is to be delivered in three days' time. We don't have that time, bro. Um, that's no good to us. The trial may be over by then. Nonetheless, we appreciate your hospitality. Thank you, Baron. It's no trouble at all. Okay, thanks to know everyone's not snooty and assholes in this game. <laughs> they seem like nice fellows. Um, I'll be here when you are done with your investigations. Alright, okay. So where shall we go first? Um, the garden, the lounge, or the main hall. I think we have enough time to do everything. I was saying that maybe, like, you know, you may not have the evidence you need. But, I, they, from the looks of things, I mean, we have three days to, ex like, to do three places. So, it seems all hunky-dory. So let's investigate the garden. Um, Dom Catterline has said that she found Mr. Grenwee on the stairs by the fountain, so we must spot... Must look, this must be the spot that the murder took place. Um, do the crime scene investigation thing. <laughs> that thing you do, you know? Um, yeah, you know. The thing where you get all eagle-eyed. <laughs> he is a falcon. And analyze every object in excruciating detail. Oh, you mean search for evidence? Yeah, do that. That's <laughs> what lawyers do. It's not a bad suggestion. It wouldn't be the first time the um, Parzan police have missed something right under their noses. Oh, that's right. Um... Click on an item of interest and Falcon will examine it in closer detail. <laughs> I don't want to let the French get to me. Um, when you had enough, or when you can find nothing else to examine, click on the X in the top right corner. Okay. Um, oh shit. Okay, so, at least though. So, if I like, if I was really like out of stuff to do, I could just scan like periodically and look at all the stuff. There are the statues. Um, the other statues, a fourth statue, and statues. Okay, let's examine the fountain. <laughs> um, the fountain is finely crafted, it's solid to carved marble. That can't have been cheap. Um, I see nothing but water at the bottom of the lower basin. Okay, it's the same, the same we can't see the upper basin from here. That would be a perfect place to quickly stash a murder weapon. I mean, I guess. Um, that's actually- I hope there's a backlog. <laughs> you never know when I'm just gonna gloss over a line like it's nothing and it's like, oh shit, that's important. That's actually not a terrible line of reasoning. We ought to wade in close to take a closer look, just to be sure. Um, I wasn't being direct enough. I must- <laughs> I meant to say is, you, go wade into the fountain and take a closer look inside the upper basin. <laughs> Damn. Um, but you got the legs for it, man. Aren't you a sparrow? Um... If you want to go wade in, do it yourself. I'm a respectable lawyer. Look at his fancy suit, man. Um, you can't expect me to roll up my trousers and paddle down around a fountain like a duck in a lake. Yeah, he doesn't have the wading boots. He's no kazooie. Um, yeah, well, you don't pay me enough for to justify. Oh shit, is my. Sorry, that was almost that was almost really bad. Okay, they're arguing, and apparently I clicked, so I skipped a line of dialogue. But um, there's only one reasonable way to settle this. We'll flip for it. Okay, a coin. Um, yep. I'll flip this one franc coin. You call the outcome. Get it wrong, and you go for a swim. Um, Napoleon face or <laughs> plant squiggles? I, I'm liking these plant squiggles, man. I have some trust. It's called a wreath, Sparrows. <laughs> sure, I'll bet on the plant squiggles. Alright. Um, it's heads. Damn, you should have gone with the old Emperor, Falcon. Okay, hold my shoes. Falcon really should learn how to spot a rigged flip coin. <laughs> I love Sparrowson. Um, I love his, I love his, um, I love his pacing too when he just hops back and forth. I almost feel bad for cheating. Almost. Ah, you're back. You had a good swim. Oh, he's all drenched. How did his, how does his head get wet? How do you do that? Uh, 
No, I'm a bird, not a fish. But you hunt, don't falcons hunt for fish? I think they do that. Um, but I did find a mystery item in the upper basin. It's no murder weapon, though. Set of it's brown and sticky, and it smells weird. Don't pick me. Tell me you picked up a cigar. Yet yeah, a wet cigar butt, possibly belonging to Baron Rogile. Correct. Oh damn! But that shouldn't be too surprising. It is his house, but he must not litter in his own house, man. I'll stash it in the evidence folder just in case. Okay, is there anything else we need to do here? Uh, that's right, examine all four statues, I guess. So what do you have to say? Um, finally crafted horse statue? <laughs> is that weird? It was like in a world of anthropomorphic animals, just to have a horse statue? I guess that's no weirder than a person statue, so whatever. Um, what do you say? It behooves you to stroke it? <laughs> no, I would not. <laughs> I does it just to say the same thing. Um, you know, it's saying how much he loves his horse statues. Um, but the little cherub people creep me out. Baby should be waddly, not attempting saddleless horseback riding. Okay. Um, is it a different thing? Yeah. <laughs> man, they, uh, they had unique lines for horse statues, man. Quality, guys, quality. Another beautifully made horse statue. Um, you know, my uncle once had a horse that refused to eat hay. Well, damn. Um, that is unfortunate. Where's the pun? This is a setup, right? Um, eventually we realized I was just filling up a horse door. <laughs> there you go, guys. Oh, terrible. <laughs> um, a horse statue. This one has a goofy face. That reminds me of a joke. You just had a joke, man. A horse walks into a bar, and the barkeep says, uh, Why the long face? Yes, we've all heard that one. No, this is anti-joke comparison. What? No, the bark seat says, you gotta stop coming here. <laughs> You're drinking us under the stable. <laughs> oh, oh man. Oh man, this is too much for me. I think it's time to rain on the horse jokes. <laughs> aight, aight. Is there anything else we're mysteriously missing? That seems to have been everything. Um, right? Close. Oh, no, it's not the close button, that's the bail button. Alright. Ooh, look there. <laughs> right, the scene of the murder. <laughs> That might be important. Um, dried blood on the staircase. This must be where Mazur Grenwi died. Do you see any bloody footprints? Oh, uh -huh. maybe we a name scrawled in blood? The cliche, ridden with the frog's last breath? He's gonna be like, as far as no one actually does that. <laughs> All I'm thinking is a big, sticky puddle. That's not good. Um, there's nothing to indicate that the body was moved or the frog left a last minute clue. All I can make from this bloody mess is that Mazur Grenwi was attacked and killed on the staircase. Alright, nothing else. No other staircase where the real murder took place. Or the, where the murder actually took place. Nothing, nothing. Just gonna flail around my mouse, hoping to find something. The best and most accurate way of investigating. Nope, nothing, I guess. Let's bail. I think. Yeah, let's bail. Almost there or something. I think we're done here. Um, but don't you want to take another dip? We have good time. Alright, so that was the garden, so now let's examine the main hall. Hmm, anything? Uh, did we have a good look around? I trust everything was in order. Yeah? If you haven't seen the lounge where the photograph was taken yet, we should probably go up there before we leave. Aight, aight. Is that a draft? <laughs> Long neck, man. Oh, the back step? Okay. Uh, second floor, third door to the right. This is must have been where the room photograph was taken. Hey, Falcon, you see that? See what? The housemaid totally did something shifty. Yeah, she did a back step, man. Absolutely shifty. Shifty? I think she just pocketed something from that jar. You should totally call her out on it. Excuse me, mademoiselle. Ah, I like how, like, her text is, like, her text voice, I guess you could say, is, like, higher pitched. Are you two policemen? No, we're private attorneys, man. My name's J.J. Falcon. And I'm Sparrowson. Um, Kuline Duhau? Do how? I guess. Um, so, uh, what can I help you, Mazirs, today? We're investigating the murder that took place. Do you mind if we ask you a couple, que a couple questions? Let me just grab a chair. <laughs> that's funny. Um, what does he want to ask? Where's the photograph taken? Is there something we should know? Or that's all? Where? Is this where the photograph was taken? Um, we're looking for the room where the photograph was taken prior to the incident. Would you happen to know where this... Whether or not this is the right room? Yes, this is the right place. I saw the photography session for myself. Let's see. The cameraman was standing. Just about where you're standing, actually, Mr. Falcon. And where was the camera pointed? 
Right at the clock above the mantelpiece, the time is obviously going to be something important for the case. The Baron insisted on using that very location. Is trying to frame? Is the Baron trying to frame the? He's trying. He he set that up for evidence. I think it's the Baron, guys. The wet cigar butt, obviously. Obvs. Um. Okay. Now that I'm looking at it, something isn't right about that clock. It's wrong. I know. The painting on it totally clashes with the decor. <laughs> I was thinking along more of the obvious lines, a clock has no hands. Well, how interesting. Oh, that clock has never had any hands in the years I worked here. I think Baron Regal just keeps it around as a conversation piece. Well, there you go. Never mind then. Although it still must be important for something, because it's about to be evidence. Well, we're conversing again about it, so I guess it's working. It's a peculiar detail, though. I'll take note of it. Okay, the missing clock hands. Aight, aight. <laughs> Um, anything else we should know? You were a little nervous when he came in. We thought... You thought we were police officers. Is there something we ought to know? Anything you need to confess? No? For all the drama last week, I guess. We should pressure her. Come on. Are you sure there isn't anything you're hiding? Um, we're defense lawyers. That means we help people. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love this game. Um, that means we help you get away with criminal acts. Right, and... <laughs> wait, what? No! That's not an accurate job description, Sverison. It isn't? Oh, what do we do then? Justice. I'll tell you later, because he doesn't know that for himself yet. He doesn't know what true lawyers are... What the purpose of lawyering is. Um, I have nothing to hide. Was there something else you wanted to ask? Yeah, that's all, I guess. Um, thank you. We've been a huge help. Okay. Actually, there is something. I know you two saw me stealing as you came in. I appreciate that you didn't give me the third degree about it. <laughs> Damn. You see, I'm trying to save up to follow my dreams and well, never mind, I'm rambling. Alright. Um, we have a much larger crime to worry about, that's true. <laughs> the morally ambiguous falcon, man. Although I should probably ask, I don't suppose you've been stealing anything else? Silverware, perhaps? That's right, there was no cutlery at the thing. At the dinner or something. Um, I started with a couple of teaspoons. I didn't think the Baron would miss those, but yeah, I suppose I got a <laughs> this kleptomaniac fucking giraffe. Alright, that's one mystery solved at least. Alright, mystery, missing silver. So what evidence do we have? We got the letter, the camera, the red herring, <laughs> um, the steak, the missing silverware, missing clock hands, and the wet cigar. Aight. Okay, and we have 19 francs because we donated one or something. Um, I would appreciate it if you didn't tell the Baron. He's been really kind, and I would hate to break his trust. And don't steal shit. Um, I see. So where to next, Big Bird? Well, that's everything. <laughs> Baron, you're never gonna believe this. This, this is your giraffe mate is stealing shit from you. Um, yeah, we had a good look. Thank you, Baron. But we actually have some questions for you. Do we have time for those questions? I want to keep these like long, grr, but not too long. Um. You know what, we'll, 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 we can ask what's up. Uh, about the housemaid, uh, Kulain de Hao. Um, she's a courteous young lady, isn't she? Oh no! Moral choices. Yeah, she was quite helpful. She told us about stuff. Um, glad to hear it. Do you want to ask something else? I hope this doesn't, like, again! When the choices matter, man, you can actually fail. You can actually fail trials. It's not, everything's not set in stone, man. Who knows what could be happening. What happened on the night of the murder? Um, your activities, that's right. Watch this sketch. Watch this sketch stuff go down. Oh ho, am I in trouble? Um, no, nah, not at all. Well, we'll, we'll see. We'll, we'll, we'll be polite for now. No, no, nothing like that. We're just gathering the full picture. Um, the, we don't want to be too much of an edgelord, I guess. The guests arrived at 5 o'clock, and we all sat down for dinner at this very hall at 6. That part went magnificently. Um, the photographer arrived at 7 o'clock, but it wasn't until 7.30 that we had her picture taken. How do you know that? There's no hands on that clock. Um, my housemaid discovered the crime soon after that. That was, I thought the cat was the one who discovered it. Um, well, no, I guess that's it. Okay, so we're gonna tune into the, um, the photographer after this, I guess. So, right, that's all we have to do? Um, I hope so. Okay, if everything goes wrong in the trial, we could always jest. <laughs> Wing it! <laughs> I terrible. Just terrible. 
Let's head back to the office and get some rest. Nah, son, nah. We gotta go to, uh... Oh, okay, yeah. I guess that's what the new day is. Okay, all we have left to do is, uh... Explore Studio de Rubino. So, we will be doing that next time on Let's Play Aviary Attorney. But until then, this has been Skid Flash. Hope you've enjoyed watching. Bye!